This is Sampling Angeline. And do you know who made the traffic signal? Welcome back to Simply Angeline, the channel dedicated to the storytelling of diverse children's stories so kids can feel seen and inspired. This week, we are reading Saving the Day, Garrett Morgan's life-changing invention of the traffic signal. Yes, Garrett Morgan was the one who created the traffic signal. So now all around the world, we have traffic lights. Yes, it's because of him, this guy. So let's find out more about Garrett Morgan and find out how he created this amazing invention. Let's take a look. Saving the day, Garrett Morgan's life-changing invention of the traffic signal. Written by Karen Parsons, illustrated by R. Gregory Christie. Morning dawned and the sun's golden rays signaled to Garrett Morgan's that it was a new day. With his head in the clouds, always full of a dream, he was no help to others, or so it seemed. His brothers and sisters worked the house and the field, but Garrett's talents had yet to be revealed. He fell off all ladders, couldn't hammer a nail, was too weak to lift things, not even a pail. They'd all say, run along, go be by yourself. And though he liked dreaming, he wanted to help. He'd spend time alone, long walks he would take, his mind imagining new creations to make. In the middle of the road, a wheel lay on the ground. I know I can use that, so Garrett bent down. But sometimes his dreaming got him into trouble. He wouldn't watch where he was going. His mind in a bubble. See, along came a car. From the side, a red truck. And though they missed Garrett, their nerves had been struck. Both slammed on their brakes, dodged the boy by a hair. But the near collision gave everyone a scare. Back at home, his mom said, you wait here for your dad. He just knew he was in trouble, that his parents were mad. His father walked in, looked at Garrett a beat, then called him over. Come here, son, have a seat. You have a great mind, imaginative, keen, ready to invent new from what has not yet been seen. Yes, you have a great mind, but could do even more. A tutor in the city could help your dreams soar. This decision was hard. We don't want you away, but it's for your own good. You'll understand one day. Then Garrett's mother pulled him close and she said, but always remember this son, Keep this in your head. While Ruth's good at fishing and Will likes to bake, Lucille loves the stars and the patterns they make. Frank's good with tools, can fix anything, and Minnie's at her best when she can sing. You too, son, have something that's all yours alone. Something to contribute that's just not yet known. All are a given gift, something you cannot learn. It's what you do with that gift. That's your gift in return. The city was loud, people everywhere, and cars and horses and bicycles were there, all on the same roads, all at the same time. Horns honking, cars crashing, no reason or rhyme. Garrett studied hard, and when his lessons were done, he found a job, doing something he found fun, fixing sewing machines with their rotors and springs and gears and buttons, 
made him think of many things, like a new kind of stitch on the sewing machine, one that made zigzags and kept edges clean. His mind churned and churned with new ideas to invent. Some drew attention, some helped pay the rent. But Garrett didn't care about fame or about wealth. What he wanted most was to show he could help. The day's early dawn signaled Garrett to wake. He decided to walk, a scenic route he would take. The grass, sparkling green, had just been cut low. Garrett longed to run through it. He decided to go. But just as he started, a white car whizzed past, heading for the crosswalk and going quite fast. Then he heard tires screech and someone yell, stop. A horse and carriage were approaching. He could hear the hooves clop, but the horse kept on going, didn't even slow down. Garrett ran fast to warn them, but soon heard the sound. First a crash and a boom, then the horse whinnied high. When Garrett finally got there, he tried not to cry. Though everyone was okay and the horse would be all right, he'd seen too many wrecks. It was a terrible sight. That day as he worked on a sewing machine, his mind drifted back to the collision he'd seen. There has to be some way to let drivers know that someone else is approaching, when to stop and to go, and a signal before stopping so first they could slow down. But they have to see it. It couldn't only be sound. But as Garrett wandered home, ideas in his head flowing, he forgot to pay attention to just where he was going. He stepped off a curb the bike signaled, no doubt. He saw a bright light, and then he went out. His mind was filled with colorful light, on and then off. What a beautiful sight. The green grass of a field, illuminated by sun, shone bright and invited Garrett to run. Golden light through the window, eased in the morning. A new day was beginning. It was a subtle warning. The red glow of the coals, far too hot to touch, told Garrett to stop. One more move was too much. His mind was racing. Ideas twisted and nodded. Then he suddenly jumped up and exclaimed, I've got it, a traffic signal. That's what he created so all could travel safely. Yes, it'd be great. The red, yellow, and green would come along later, but it was Garrett's foundation that made us all safer. Garrett had a gift. Yes, that is a fact. But what meant the most was that he gave back. The end. So, what did you think of saving the day? I thought it was amazing too. If you wanna learn about uh, Garrett Morgan even more, I would implore you to do more research, find out uh, other things that he did, if he had any other inventions. I think this is very important to learn about history and to learn those who came before us and what they actually did and contributed to society. Um, especially just with black people. They, black people have created numerous things that I bet a lot of people didn't even know about, including the traffic signal. So if you like this, thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Simply Angelina. Bye.